this is the review of the Mold King Super S that I got from Gearbest just a couple days ago. We're going to do this review out of the hatchback of my Prius. So, here goes. I originally got this drone to fly with my kids and teach them how to fly drones. Um, I thought it would be a really, really nice drone. It was cheap, you know, being t between 20 and $35 there on Gearbest. This happens to be the non-camera version, which is even cheaper. And I, I figured, you know, the less bells and whistles for them to learn on, the better. Uh, I just want them to get the basics of flying down before they get into all the other extras. So I ended up getting this one for the price as well as uh, the reviews that I found uh, both the video reviews thank you quadcopter 101 and on the forums that are out there for for drones and quadcopters so getting into this uh, what I really liked about it was that it had taller landing skids than most drones and they're rubbery so when the drone drops it does have a little bit of cushioning also the rotor guards are pretty forgiving as well so you'll get a lot of bump or bounce from them the drone itself comes with a set of four extra rotor guard or rotors excuse me four extra rotors so if you break one of these you've got extra rotors in place but it also only comes with one battery which I have charging right now off of my power juice uh, power juice charger and the one thing I would highly recommend is getting more batteries right from the start because this thing will only give you about three minutes of flight time at full power and then the battery rapidly drops in power after that. Of course the drone uh, gets a little bit more finicky as the battery depletes itself and it gets harder to control as time goes on. But if you pick up like a, fa a pack of five extra batteries that'll give you about 20 minutes of good run time and uh, you won't be flying and then recharging right away as you would with uh, just one battery so the controller the controller is a very simple basic controller and that's why I liked for the kids uh, that's exactly what I was looking for uh, you it simply is uh, your altitude yaw forward backward left and right and then your pitch or I'm sorry your trim buttons down below you have a button on the top over here which is uh, your modes button this one doesn't do anything this one would be your return to home and headless mode which I don't use and the one over here does the sideways flips and stuff so it's worth it's worth mentioning too that the controller needs four AA batteries, which they do not provide. So you have to have four AA batteries for this for this controller. <clears throat> um, the drone does weigh less than half a pound, so you don't need FAA registration. Although I have one anyway, um, you don't need the FAA registration to fly. However, uh, if you're within five miles of an airport or helipad. Uh, you do still have to call the control tower to let them know that you're going to fly. Um, and you can do that by getting the Before You Fly app from either the iPhone store, or the App Store, excuse me, or Google Play. Another thing that I like about this, going back to the drone itself, is that uh, when you do insert the battery, it just inserts right in, right in the bottom, and it, and it kind of clicks into place so you don't have to deal with covers or anything uh, like you do with other other drones and if it does happen to fall the battery doesn't just fall out and then there's the power the power plug right here there is an optional option to recharge from from the side and you can get a cable which goes directly into your USB port but uh, I don't think I'm gonna go that far with this drone I've got other drones coming that I'll probably do that with, but not this one. This one's just a toy drone for, for my kids to learn how to fly, fly quadcopters on. But all in all, this is a really nice drone and a great for beginners, and I do recommend it. You can get it off Gearbest, Banggood, or even Amazon, and the, the price range is between $20 and $35. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you in flight. 
all you do is you take it and you want the writing to be face up and you just insert the battery as this I don't know if you heard that but clicked in place and then you can plug it in and the lights start flashing there's no on and off switch so when you're storing it you just have to leave the battery unplugged okay, we're gonna try and take a quick flight with this here we go and since we're in a parking lot and there's uh, trees around it won't be too much but we'll take it off And now there's there's a bit of drift I've got going on here. It seems to be drifting forward and to the to its right a little bit. Maybe that's because of the wind though. Trying to keep it in frame. There we go. But it's really easy to to fly even even if there is a little bit of uh, a little bit of a light breeze or if it tends to drift a bit. Excellent flyer. I, I love flying this one actually. Um, you can you can stay pretty close to the ground even with it and I haven't been flying these things for that long but definitely definitely a good flyer. Today's a bit breezy so And the tripod that I'm using is not, I would have to say, not the greatest tripod. I'm probably going to have to get get something better here uh, relatively soon. Okay, I placed the drone about 10 feet away, and let's get her up. We're going to see how far this thing can go. There is some wind, so it is drifting a little bit. And I lost connection right there, so maybe about, maybe about 50 yards, I would say.
just to make it easier for me to see which which side which side is uh I put I put uh, tape on the front fork so that I could see which side is the front more easily. I think my battery's dying. <laughs>